Okay everyone, hello and welcome back to another episode of uh, the Harry Potter Adventure Map Patch 1.2. This is the Tom Trooper and I believe we are going to find ourselves a toad. Um, I guess we just... So this is carriage one, so yeah, I guess we just move along. The Honey Duke's Explorer. It's like an upside down cake, whatever. These are iron doors, I think, actually. Um, if these are wooden doors, so. Can't really open those. Uh, I just thought the most rabbiting, blah, 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 blah. Oh, so basically this is the trolley, but kind of like... Oh, that's the trolley, okay. But kind of like, just permanent. Okay, let's move along. Look for certain toads. Actually, I think we said we were going to meet in... Uh, Oh, this is this is where I was on my uh, on my way back to attempt to <laughs> to get back there. I think I came through one of these walls to try and get back. Uh, I think they're rails. That's quite cool. So we're in a tunnel. Wait a minute. Let's continue on. Which carriage is this? Carriage three. It's very cramped in here. More compartments. I don't think there's anything in them. Ah, uh, it's gonna get really buggy for you a lot. Oh, I'm opening a door somewhere. Okay, I'm not sure what the devil that was. Control room. Oh, express carriage lights. Ah, that's quite cool. Right, so is that? So let's turn them off. Oh, that's fairly neat. It's a fully functioning uh, thing. Try to not fall. Ha ha ha! Very good. Uh, carriage for door control. Right, let's move. What is that? Oh, it's a cow. Window within an item frame. So it's... Uh, frameception. Da, 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 da. I have no idea what's going on here. Chess brother. It's in classroom 16. Oh, so you put your stuff in there and then... Okay. Quite cool. Um, let's go for that. So the line switch is broken. So is this luggage then? Again, mixed messages here. <laughs> I presume I'm not meant to put it on any difficulty yet. What's going on here? Ah, that was an arrow. Oh, I'm still on creative from getting back here. I'm very sorry. Okay, so that would have hurt. Just a bit mean. If I had both of them as well. I don't think there's anything in here. I think that's still a bit loud, isn't it? Um, okay. I don't really know what's going on here. Just checking all this stuff. Probably have to open the train stops, but no. Read note three. Okay. Let's read another epic. I said I think this one will be as long. Nah, it's only one and a bit page. Where on earth is that bloody frog? Come on, little toad. Mr. Ronnie needs his wizardy card, and without you, he can't get it, said Ron. While he searched through some dusty boxes, frustrated. There was a sudden rustle rustle there. Yeah. Russell from an oversized box, which lay in one of the compartment's corners. The both of them stopped their actions. Um, Harry, do you, do you think it's in there? Asked Ron, examining the shaking from a distance. Harry looked at Ron, whose face looked quite confused and scared. Our toad's big enough to make that sound. Just then, the box toppled over, revealing its inhabitants to be a round-faced boy in his hand a petite toad. Ron let out a little girlish scream before regaining his posture and acting brave, while Harry squinted closely at the fallen-out boy. 
Who are you? Harry asked unknowingly. The boy slowly got to his feet. The toad gripped tightly in his hands and brushed down his plain robes. Ne Neville Longbottom, he stuttered, looking hastily from Ron to Harry. Please don't hurt me. I, I was just looking for my toad. Harry and Ron laughed at him reassuringly. Neville brewed an uncertain smile. Don't worry about it, Neville. Harry and me were sent to go find your frog for you, said Ron, back to his cocky self. Cocky self, in quotation marks. Uh, that Hermione, Harmony girl said there would be a, a wizard card in return for your good deeds, interrupted Hermione, who had suddenly appeared out of the darkness, making Ron slightly jump. Here, have it, she said, handing Ron a golden-looking card. Ron, without hesitation, accepting the card, and both his eyes shot straight to the name. Ah, oh, he moaned in sheet disappointment. This this is Morgana. Got round three of her already. He turned to Harry, who was keeping silent. Here, Harry, you may as well have it. Apparently everyone collects them at Hogwarts, according to Fred. You're Harry Potter? THE Harry Potter? Interrupted Hermione, who had just ignored all of what Ron had said, excluding Harry's name. Hermione literally interrogated him for the last five minutes, while Ron and Neville stood back and watched the girl at work. Harry hardly got an answer in edgeways. Hermione kept asking him a question and answering for her. She suddenly, though, digressed her attention away from Harry's. The crane train step came there. The train came to a sudden halt. Why are we stopped? asked Ron. We're there! screeched Hermione enthusiastically. Now you two get out your uniforms quickly. Neville, come with me. She dragged Neville by the hand with her out of the compartment, leaving Harry and Ron alone to get changed. Okay, so basically we need to get off the train and get on a boat. Uh, to Hogwarts. I don't, I don't know, is it that? So, pull lever to open the train. I presume we're here then. I don't know what I'm meant to be doing now. Train open to the platform, apparently. I'm so confused about this lever. Or did that just close all the doors? I don't know. Oh, it can close the control room. Oh. I think, anyway. Yeah, right, okay. Right, so we need to get out to the platform, apparently. But, I didn't see where the platform was. Is this meant to be it? Because I don't see any leaves or anything. I don't think that's it. Right, okay, we're just going to... Let me just check this note again. See if it says anything in there. Apart the train. Alright, well I don't think the exit will be in the luggage compartment anyway. So let's... Just head back along here. Let's check the doors. Okay, nope, not that. I don't think it's that way. Because that's where I went last time and I just got teleported outside. It said, like, open here. I just had a bat. That's got you authentic, actually. To get onto the platform, right? Right, one second guys, I'm just going to read some stuff, see if I'm doing something wrong. Okay guys, as far as I can tell, I think we do that thing that I did last time, accidentally. Uh, because, I mean, I looked looked at the note again, I couldn't see anything. I kind of flew outside for a bit just to check, and there didn't seem to be any immediate, like, platform or anything. So I'm just going to head into Hogwarts via that accidental way I found before. Uh... I hope this is right. If it's not, uh, Manjoko, maybe this is a thing to, to look at to make it a bit clearer. Uh, in any case, 
here we are, I'm going to change that texture pack to uh, the castle uh, if it wants to change, there we are come on so I'm hoping I didn't miss anything my guide, what's a guide to my yeah let's just pop in here to, to the Hogwarts guide, oh okay then <laughs> and then nothing there, okay big, that looks like a big seat <laughs> Uh, I presume I'm just meant to go into there because that was no four. Yeah, let's go, let's go this way. Read note four. Ah, <sighs> okay. Oh, this is a small one as well. Welcome to Hogwarts. This is your new home. Gryffindor. The third floor corridor is out of bounds. Follow me, keep up. That's basically a, a summary, I think. Harry was sorted into the Gryffindor house, and he followed Percy up an immense amount of staircases, eventually arriving at his common room. Oh, this is too much to take in, yawned Ron. I'm going to get going to bed, Harry. Believe we're in here, he added, pointing to a door with first year's plaque above it. Ron went in, and the door magically shut behind him. Harry was about to follow, but Fred and George swooped in front of him. All right, Harry, that's one of them. A little brother, dull in your day, asked the other. George, I'll ask the questions. You just stand there and look... No, Fred, let me do the honest young Harry here. Anyway, Harry, we're about to open our own shop come Halloween, and we, and we need you to get, help us get our things back from Filch's office. Of course, we may have some wizard cards to spare if you do the deed correctly. Harry, oh, having only been acquainted with a terrifying Filch earlier, sighed. You're not asking for much then, are you? He asked rhetorically. The two twins smiled. I knew that you'd do it, said half of them. Meet us in the entrance hall with the hourglasses to find out more. They cleared away, and a tired Harry went to visit his new friend, a bed. So basically, uh, we got to head up to the Gryffindor common room and explore, or go to sleep. So we're just going to... Uh, well, we're going to look around for a bit, actually. Because I don't... This looks very, very smart, actually. I'm very impressed. Considering the small time scale that Mandrake or had to do it in, I think this is more than impressive. That's an iron door. House points there, I presume. Looking cool. Uh, actually, probably shouldn't run on the on the tables. Fireplace, neat, neat. Oh, I love that. That's amazing. Very, very good. Okay, let's let's go. So seventh floor, I think it is, isn't it? So high, you can't even see the top of it. Grand staircase guide. Oh my god. That was a ladder. It's that big. Oh, okay. <laughs> Isn't that the room sites like change their location? Dungeon, the potions, and tra transfiguration of magical languages. First floor, wizarding world. Second floor, charms. Third floor, don't go there. Fourth floor, history and magic. Astronomy, floor seven. <laughs> Muggle studies, fifth. Ancient roots, sixth. Seventh floor, arithmetic, arithmetic advanced something, studies maybe, and mythology. Other classrooms lie somewhere. Okay, that was helpful. Uh, this could be a tough. Okay. Um, so we're just going to go up to... Not that. This is a big castle. And hopefully uh, more of it will be revealed as we go. Um... Obviously, this is only like the first three chapters of uh thing. I guess we'll go up to the to the common room and then we'll have a look at some of these things uh, at some point. I'm sure the story will probably lead us here. You can disable clouds. Yeah, good point. Let's do that. If I know how to... Okay, I don't know how to. Oh, no, I do. I do. I do. Okay. Clouds off. There we go. Right, sixth floor, no, nope. last floor. Seventh floor, east corridor. Seventh floor, west corridor is locked, so I presume. Actually, what's this? Character notes, if we want to go in there. Well, there is like a big chunk of notes and character notes and stuff that's made, so we will need to look at that at some point, I'm sure. This looks amazing. 
you lose Iron Doors, Mythology, so I presume we get to go to these eventually. So many classrooms he's made. Professor Camelot, mm. Child Mail and Red. Two of Lack of Time, all of the common rooms, even Ravenclaws will come in a patch 1.3, so I presume. Yeah, I can't go through here yet. Uh, okay. Um, actually, what was I saying? House Officers, Wizard Card Room, etc. Patch 1.3 around February, March. Cool. Wizard Card Rooms did that thing. Alright, so he's going to try and do a system like that. I remember in the first Harry Potter games, where he used to have a thing like that. Which I think I might play at some point, actually. But no, I'm digressing. Read notes 5 and 6. I think we'll get one more note here, or two, if we can. You know, I might get two, even. Oh no, five first. Uh, yeah, we'll read this one and then I think we'll stop. Harry went down into the common room, both anxious and enthusiastic to live his first day at Hogwarts. After diving out of his bed, waking up his five dormitory mates, he placed on his new Hogwarts uniform and ran down to the common room, full of anticipating students. Ron joined him a minute later and the two of them went to the common room's notice board. Bloody early time this is, yawned Ron, while combing his hair with his fingers. Harry smiled. I wonder how we'll find out what lessons we have, he pondered curiously. I wonder where we'll learn them, added Ron. It was a familiar voice from behind them, causing Ron to instantly frown. In classrooms, of course. Where do you think we'd learn them? The high clouds above? Hermione, looking prim and fresh in a new Gryffindor attire, was suddenly beside them. And Harry, McGonagall told me to tell you that you'll need to collect your timetable from her office, she said. The abrupt tone she used with Ron, suddenly gone, giving her a less intimidating voice. Her office? asked Harry and Ron together. Yes, Harry, her office. She'd also like to have a quick talk with you as well. Want me to take you? Before Harry could finish, Ron intervened. We can manage ourselves, Hermione. And off we pulled Harry out of the common room and into the seventh floor corridor, leaving Hermione looking disgusted at Ron's arrogance. After climbing through the portrait hole, Ron absorbed his wonderful surroundings. The castle looked even better in the daytime and looked at Harry. The secret passage is all over the school, Fred told me. Maybe you can find one so we can get to the first floor easy. That staircase gives me the fright. Give, yeah, gives me the fright. That was five. It did say six as well, didn't it? I wonder if, I wonder if that's maybe that's afterwards. I don't know. We'll open it up. Uh, we'll open it up and see. Yeah. Right. Okay. So um, I think that'll probably do for now. Um, and we'll be back next episode where we will go to Transfiguration in McGonagall's office and hopefully explore over at Hogwarts, maybe. Uh, so until then, this has been the Tom Trooper. Uh, this has been the Harry Potter Adventure Map made by Manjorka. Head over to the forums if you want to have a look at it or give some feedback. Or um, And remember to comment, uh, like, subscribe, whatever you want to do. I'd really like some feedback as to how I'm doing this. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and see you next time.